Hi folks, how you all doing? Still here, setting off now. Ooh, the wake over there. Um, here you go, Greenpeace. Zero emissions bike. And that's the thing. Um, could you ride an electric bike? Could you live with it? Not the Zero DSRs, it's a bike. I'm thinking about buying at some point in the future. But they're so expensive. I think the cheapest one I saw the other day, I was looking um, on Auto Trader, and it was like eight grand. And this is the thing I love this bike so much. And if I had the money right now to buy one, would I pull the pin on it? Would I buy it? And the only thing that appeals to me about it is. I'm going to have to explore up there as well, I think. Get the bike covered in dust. Yeah, um, that appeals to me is I think there's sort of like 44 brake horsepower. You know, they're quite powerful. And they've got a top speed of, well, I don't know what the top speed is, but it's more than this. A lot more than this. And it just appeals to me because I can just, at night time, I don't have to worry about, well, come fueling it up and everything, and I can just plug it in. And generally when we go and ride it, the longest I ever did in one day was 70 miles. And uh, we've got pretty good ranges, it's like 120, 150 miles, and you can buy, well it has a bigger battery pack I think. Um, well, I think it's a, it has the main battery and then another one here, but you lose your storage that is usually here. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if it's got about a 120 mile range, I'd be fine with a standard one. And then you can have all your charging cables in there or whatever. And then they do a version where it's got like a quick charge thing on it, which again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't need. Because I just, when I get home, plug it in. You know, and generally I get home at about 5pm and the weekend go to bed about midnight so I think after 7 hours of charge and probably only using 50% of the battery if that it'd be charged by the time you know that it go to bed ready for the next day and it really does it, the, the idea of having that I'm going to have to pull over What is that? Swag bag. What is that? Mm, what is it? Sandbag. Mm, what? I'll touch it and I'll start hissing. That is. No, definitely sandbag. Thought somebody had been uh, snake catching, snake charming, catching bloody snakes. That's one thing I've never seen when I've been out in the countryside, ever. Grass snakes. Do you have them as pets? Hmm. But yeah, um, it really does appeal to me, um, having one of those, but it, I just don't think I could get rid of this. It'd break my heart. It really, really would. But it is a bike that I kind of look at and think I'd like to own in the future. If I had a house that had a garage. Look, people, a Stargate! Um, yeah, um, I'm going to jump that one. If I had a house with a garage and I had the money to buy the bike course all day long, I'd buy it. And I'd just keep this. Because in my head I think, do you know something? If I, if I do go down that route and it's highly likely that I will at some point in the future, I'm going to keep this for my grandson, who's just been born. Let's get ran over. Oh God, another one. Yeah, he's just been born, bless him. Funny how it changes you. 
I'm not a baby person, but I tell you what, my grandson was born, wow. Just, I don't know, just changes you, man. Women. It's lovely ace, isn't it? Go on. 3.7 of the 18 curbs, get in. I like them clubmen, I mean. I wanted to get one, like, stick a V8 in it. Lower it. Uh, yeah, got the new rim tape on. My kid's got me for Father's Day. It's Father's Day tomorrow, but I'm like a child, me, when it comes to, can I have it now? And they bought me everything, the bag, the mirrors, the levers, the tail tidy. I'm blessed. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful, and that's my point. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. It really is. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So we're doing it. It's not because I own it, it's... Look! Yeah. And look at its face, it's like a transformer. I wonder if at night time it unlocks itself and goes out on missions. Jesus Christ, I'm going to run over by a cyclist then. No look out. Um, uh, wakes up at night, transforms, goes out killing Decepticons, bike thieves. <laughs> bike thieves. How do you get a stone in your shoe when you're on your bike? Excuse me a second. Um, and yes, I know I've got trainers on, and I've just ordered because it's my birthday next week. 21. Some leather biking boots. The ankle ones, I don't like the longer ones. Barrow Bridge, one kilometre. Is it bike worthy? I wouldn't even dream of taking my baby down there. Oh god. And she was gonna get me uh, the jacket. I've got, I mean, I've got a jacket, anyways, but another jacket and the trousers, but I just said, might as well wait till. September, whenever it is, it starts going colder. Get them then. But yeah, look at it. Kill all Decepticons and bike thieves. Where's that dog? I did a video, do you know? I did a video here, and it was one of the funniest videos I ever did. Sanjay was with me. Dog jumps on the wall. And we jump, I thought it was going to jump off. We just got on the bikes and got the hell out of here. And then when I looked on YouTube, I can't remember what it said. And I accidentally deleted it, so that's why I'm doing this. So some of you might be, you know, if you follow my channel, be like, hey, hold on a minute. Access, <laughs> access to old hearts part. I thought, for a second when I saw it, it caught my eye, I thought it said old farts. It's a funny name for a farm. Uh, see if, uh, I've done see Teal'c from Stargate. See you in the next universe. Pew! Car park. Don't tell me somebody's drove into this with a car as well. Hmm. Looks like an engine tray. I actually did that on my car. Um, I went dropping my son in law off and my daughter. Oh, look! Look at that! Ooh, somebody. Is that a bra or knickknacks? Yeah. My, who does that? Seriously. They don't even look like they've been worn. Anyways, not doing me. Where was I heading? I forgot what I was saying then. Um, yeah, buddy. I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? Was it something to do with Stargate? I have no idea. And yeah, I love Stargate. Oh yeah, I did that on my car. I went dropping my son-in-law off and my daughter off. Um, at the friends when we got the first thingy do you know when we went into lockdown and they first started letting us all go out and play again like the responsible ad adults that we are i dropped them off for all oh, over ride up oh, over chops and anyways uh, i've seen my stay though thank you easy what the hell give me a sack and it had been raining Actually in June, it was a really cold, horrible day in June. Um, and there was massive, like, flood going across the road. And I went over it, what I presume was a reasonable speed. And then, <laughs> after that, um, now and again when I 
I was in the car and pressing the brakes, get hearing that <laughs> noise. And I was like, didn't really think much of it. I went home, got up the next day, and uh, I was walking down my garden path. I was like, what the hell's that underneath the car? Yeah. I admit the uh, engine tray from underneath it. It was like dangling down on the floor. And like any responsible car owner, there were bits that were still attached to the car, and I just ripped it all off. So my engine doesn't have a plastic covering anymore. The sump is exposed! I'm not bothered, I'm looking at getting rid of it either next year or the year after. And I'm not saying what car I'm getting, I might actually put it on my YouTube video channel. Look, horses, wearing clothes and a head skip thing, see what I mean? What they call? Look, weird that. Barrow of a bridge. I wonder if I'm going to get into it. No, I'm not even going to get into it. I hope this bike fluff is doing its job. It better be worth its weight in fluff. They're too quick for it. From China. And do you know something? It took less than two weeks to get from China. Seriously, I've ordered stuff in the UK. I ordered um, for my daughter and my son-in-law and my grandson like a, a set of drawers with a changing table on it, on top and everything. I ordered it from, I'm not going to say who they are, but it took nearly two months to get to my daughter's house. And it's a UK company. I thought it'd be there in a week. You know, because they were they decorated the room and wanted to get it all ready and everything for when this child was born. Oh my days. Yeah, I can get a little crappy. And it's not the first thing I've ordered from China. I've ordered a lot of things from China. And we generally get here. I think the longest I've had to wait was, and it was near a Christmas period. It was about four weeks. And this is during the bloody pandemic, man. I'm getting stuff in two weeks. But yes. I don't know what the point I was making that is, other than China, really quick, they don't mess about. <laughs> and I don't know how long I've been recording for, and why is there hardly any bikes out, and why have I just sang that? <laughs> oh my days. Oh yeah, I need to pull some and this video, I think this is my fifth one, I'm a fifth one. Uh, Miss is going to bingo tonight. So I'm looking after my youngest daughter. So, let's get busy on these videos, checking them out and stuff. I had somewhere in my head I wanted to go and I completely forgot. Story of my bloody life. I want it on my tombstone, you know, we got there in the end. And my missus yesterday spotted a bargain, um, a mirror, because we've redecorated the living room and stuff, and I put the gloves divisor. Um, a mirror, and a matching mirrored clock. Quite a big thing, about two, two and a half feet wide. Put them up yesterday and a picture. Oh, and I even she's we got this thing of our daughter, a light fitting, really beautiful thing. Um, but there's some up with the electrics in the living room and we get to call an electrician out. Put a brand new light switch in because we thought the light switch had gone originally. Um, and that was working, it's got a little LED on it and that lit up, so I know there's power there. Um, but the light's just not coming on. So I fitted the new one that I thought it would give us. And it's not working, so yeah, I need to the electricians out. Right then, figure it out. And it was a bloody ball ache to put up as well. It really was. Absolute ball ache. Oh, another biker! Yes! You please give me a nod. Thank you, give me a little nod. Yeah. And that was after going shopping for two hours. Yeah. And having some dinner. And then just 
Oh, no, but it's all been a busy bee. And you really are. You're a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Right, folks, um, I'm going to end it here. It's the last video I'm doing today. I'm going to film tomorrow because I really want to show Sanjay that tunnel thing on the motorway. But, yeah, I love you all. And as usual, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye now.